So that is, uh, was Jeff Bezos. It's quite interesting. At several times during Amazon's uh, evolution, they faced these challenges about what they were going to be doing. And that philosophy ended up anchoring them. Um, it was a time in the, uh, just after the dot-com bust, the Wall Street was putting on pressure on Amazon to make more money, and they were considering raising prices. Bezos then met the founder of Costco, described his strategy to Bezos, and Bezos came away from that meeting saying, you know what, we shouldn't be raising prices. We have to be the sort of company that works out how to keep prices low and continue to relentlessly serve the consumer. So not only did he not raise prices, he lowered prices even further. That's the sort of thing that's been going on to this day. Uh, different people have different opinions on that. But one thing's for sure, it's a part of Amazon's core identity, and it was a choice that Bezos and uh, founding team had to make for many, many years and right from the start. So that brings me to the final choice. In many ways, sometimes the most important is choosing the competition. This is not something we normally think about as a choice, but there is that element to it. Let me give you an example. Hipstamatic, represented by this app icon, uh, came was one of the first uh, photo apps to have a huge amount of success. Came out a few months before this one, Instagram. Both of these apps had essentially the same idea. People were taking photos on their mobile phones, and the question is, how could they make it easier to do so, and also easier to make photos that actually looked good, and each, in their own way, applied filters. Hipstamatic uh, did that by uh, relating back to the uh, retro cameras of old, with different film colors. Instagram, as you know, did it quite straightforwardly as well. Both were the same idea. Hipstamatic was actually launched in 2010. It was a $1.99 iPhone app, and it had over a million users paying for the app and enhancement. This was a big, big deal. It was looking extremely successful. A few months later, Instagram was launched as a free iPhone app, emphasis on, as we know now, sharing, and it had over 2 million users. Obviously, it's going to have more users. It didn't cost anything. So what, how does this relate to the choice of competition? Well, Hipstamatic was competing with a whole lot of other services. In fact, in 2011, Hipstamatic refused acquisition offers from Twitter and, and it changed its own focus to, to try and develop its own network for sharing. Instagram, on the other hand, did not do that. When Facebook came knocking for what was then an extraordinary sum of almost a billion dollars, uh, Instagram took that and is now a division within Facebook. So its customers were Facebook customers its customers were not, it was not choosing to go into competition with Facebook, but to cooperate with it. And as we saw last week, uh, this is something that happens time and time again, this choice between competition and cooperation. And it's just as important for these entrepreneurial firms in a whole lot of domains.